Do you know that feeling when you created a perfect mix, but it's simply lacking some vibe? Well, maybe this plugin could help. Or maybe it, it couldn't and it's just snake oil. Who knows? We'll find out. I want to give a huge shout out to all the channel members that are helping this channel to stay independent. If you're not a channel member yet, make sure to check out the join button down below. Add analog warmth to your mix. This audio plugin combines vintage and modern sounds for an appealing analog modeled experience. So what this is, is um, it's a plugin with a few modules, I think. We've got vinyl. It's, it's so weird, like back in the vinyl days, they did everything to get rid of all the imperfections of vinyl, to get rid of the dust, to get rid of the whatever. And now we're craving for it. We've got tape. Well, tape is really cool. There's a reason why there's a tape machine in my studio that's as big as a washing machine. I mean, imagine all the other gear I could have placed there. But tape is just so important. So tape, cool. Distortion, diode, triode and tube, reverb and delay. Delay is, is maybe also something that can come from tape because you have a tape print through delay that could happen. Reverb is doesn't really fit in the rest of the picture, I think. It has a bypass button, that's cool. It has a post EQ that allows adjusting the tonal balance of the sound after audio processing, allowing to tweak the frequency response and compensate for any signal losses or gains. That's really cool, so that helps with keeping the the balance intact, the, the frequency balance intact. It has oversampling from 1 to 16x. Uh, it would be really nice that if in the future a plugin could actually select its own oversampling mode. That's basically the conclusion I have drawn from making this video. And we can select between two different mods. Modes, I think. And mode 1 is um, the same as mode 2 but with a post EQ. All right, let's check out this plugin. The people from Fragment Plugins did send retro vibes to me. Uh, they did send an NFR license uh, for this review. And the main reason for that is because it has the most annoying demo that there is. I was trying the demo, but the demo literally plays like 15 seconds of audio and for what it feels, 30 seconds of cutting out, which is... Uh, how can you test a plugin like that? Just make it a 14 day trial or whatever. Don't do this because now I have to test it out with an NFR and I probably make some mistakes and then you cannot, you know, test it yourself. And <sighs> anyway, they did give me an NFR license for this plugin. But you have no input in what I can or cannot say in this video. And if you appreciate that, make sure to check out my affiliate links. I'll link Tomen and Sweetwater over here and Plugin Boutique over here. They're also in the description down below. So I think the plugin is pretty straightforward. Let's play some audio through it and enable it. That was a lot. Let's uh, turn off that reverb. Well, let's go through this one by one. There are no bypass buttons for the uh, reverb and delay. Uh, also, what's this? I don't know. Let's first listen to the tape. Because the tape here is... Uh, has a lot of woe in it. That's not that's not the type of tape that I want from my tape machine. I want the saturation from it, not not this. This is pretty. Uh... I mean, it's a vibe. It's a vibe. Um, also, vinyl. 
it 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 creates atmosphere but in some situations this could be could be handy all right distortion and for distortion we of course want to oversample maybe not at 16 best oversampling setting is the one that actually works <laughs> So it has auto gain, which is which makes it a lot less annoying to to use it. Tryout mode. I mean, listen to the difference between those modes. And choose. They might. They could calibrate this a bit better, I think. But apart from that, just some very, very standard distortion. All right, some reverb. I think I know what's going on with, with these, these sliders. This is a high pass filter and a low pass filter. And on mode one, it's compensating for that with an interesting algorithm, I think, in order to have you keep the full signal and only have the reverb on the band that you are selecting here. Same goes for the delay. So we can do this. Like. It would be nice to have a frequency value here, like, is that too much to ask for? On the other hand, you're going to use your ears now. And delay. I mean, if you do this a little bit together with this, and this a little bit, not as much as in the beginning. I actually think that the name of this plugin is, is is capturing it pretty well. This is a retro vibes toolbox, like all these definitely that that flutter wowing tape machine thing can indeed create some some retro vibes. There there are two ways to look at this. On one side, every individual module of this plugin already exists. Like there's a vinyl crackle plugin. There are a lot of tape and distortion plugins. There are a lot of reverb plugins and a lot of delay plugins. So from that perspective, there's no real need to buy this plugin or to need this plugin. There's no need to need this thing. However, looking at it from the other side, uh, all these modules are tuned to achieve retro vibes. If you take a tape simulation and a distortion plugin and you have to tune it uh, all the way down like there is some value in saving that time to tune it and just to have a plugin that is made to do these type of things so i, I understand why this exists um, but there are multiple ways of course to achieve something like this i think it's a bit of the same as buying tools for instance screwdrivers you can either buy every single size of screwdriver separately uh, maybe from different brands uh, or buy a kit by a full screwdriver kit. And in this case, this is a retro vibe kit plugin. And yeah, if you're looking for something like that that is easy to control, then this is the one you need. So I'll link to Fragment plugins in the description down below. Don't forget to check out these videos. Keep pushing and bye bye.